Till I just look around Are you with me now? Why you with me now? What? Are you with me now? Said are you with me now? They fuck this good in a while They want us to sit down Can you hear me now? Am I going in and now? What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a bush workout. I'm going to be taking you along for the ride. Uh, we'll be doing some weighted weighted uh, dips and some weighted push-ups. I brought a belt with me and 25 kg. Yesterday I had a very tough pool workout so we're going to be taking it a little bit easy. Just 25 kg to work on the form. We're going to be doing some uh, pause dip for higher intensity. And we'll be doing some ring exercises for the burnout effect. Um, don't forget to warm up, we're gonna get into the warm up right now. Make sure you take your time warming up, make sure you don't get injured. So let's get into the warm up and I'll take you along for the workouts. Let's go. Rip the hand. So this is why you bring cleaning alcohol and uh, patch it up. So this is uh, the warm up is done. Now what I like to do uh, usually is uh, get into uh, some blood flow work. So uh, meaning muscle ups or whatever. It's easy to you. Maybe some pull ups. Maybe some push ups. So we'll be doing a set five muscle ups, five dips, five pull ups. Maybe two sets just to get some blood flow, some easy stuff. And then we'll uh, start warming up the dips. So I'll be doing one set of normal dips, get straight into 5k, 10kg, and then just uh, the full 25kg. And then uh, I'll put the rest of the workout in the clips. So. So we're going to be using this dip bar because this one is a little space too much. Make sure you find a dip bar that's comfortable and that's not too low. So you can keep your legs straight at all times. Important for the dip, engage in hollow body, squeeze the glutes, flex the quads, shoulders backward, pressed backward, dip to 90 degrees, up, 90 degrees, up. Make sure you stay in the hollow body. Don't do this, don't do that. Just forward and squeeze 90 degrees. So um, for me, uh, my maximum dip probably be around 70 kilos. So 25 is, uh, as you can imagine, not too hard. So um, we gotta work with what we have. I could bring a weight vest, but I just wanna work on my form because I've injured myself before. So uh, just get a band, or a, I should say a belt that you're comfortable with and uh, attach it so the weight is close to the body. For me, this uh, should be perfect, a little bit of a loose end here. Um, so the lower the weight, the more you should focus on actually using good form. So for me, I'm just trying to stay at 90 degrees at all time. Don't go really below because of my shoulder injury. So uh, it would look something like this, at 90 degrees, up, 90 degrees, up, 90 degrees, up. Just be doing a few reps, few sets, at 5 kg, at another 5 kg, and then from there on we'll be you know at the max weight we are gonna do for now. Let the darkness take control. Okay, so as you could see in that clip just now. Uh, the weight actually started moving forward because I didn't squeeze it between my legs. So obviously these weights are a little bit harder because they're small, one big one, so it's pretty hard to squeeze them between the legs. But uh, the reason you want to do that is because if the weight starts moving forward and your body is leaning like this, you will actually start to swing a little bit. 
and once you swing it's harder for the shoulders to stabilize especially when the shoulders are backwards the shoulder the shoulder blades are protracted so if you are protracted and depressed you will find that if the weights are swinging you will move a lot more and it's harder to keep the hollow body which will make the dips harder you can get injured rotator cuff tear stuff like that so make sure you just squeeze the weight between the legs you can see me at the end bending a little bit of the legs simply because these bars are only up until my hips so make sure to squeeze the weight between the legs the bigger the weights the better the place the easier to squeeze but just work with what you have and uh, let's get into the next set Sing to your heart to find you Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies So you can see what you do Christmas every time we start locking eyes mostly done we'll be doing some burnout sets after this we did uh, some weighted stuff mostly decreased the weight when doing straight bar just simply up because of fatigue we're doing pike push right now so things to keep in mind twist the elbows inward make sure you protract so make sure you fully pull your shoulders forward so once you push you actually push like this not like this okay make sure you close the the grip between your legs and your chest by going as far as forward as possible right some people will be able to put your feet close to their hands some people will be almost in a push-up position make sure you're working your fight flexibility to increase this right make sure you push the weight onto your upper body by leaning onto them make sure either wear, wear uh, wrist reps or warm up the wrist make sure you lean forward go forward push back make sure you push diagonally back don't just go don't just go back One motion, go forward, protect, put diagonally up. Okay, so make sure that's one motion. Let's get into it. the workout um, it's pretty heavy I feel a bit shaky right now uh, so we're done so make sure to eat something afterwards if you've not uh, had too much food today and uh, that was the workout next week we'll be doing a, a pool workout I'll make sure to post a video of my pool workout pretty soon uh, if you did enjoy this make sure to share the video um, let me know what you think down below if you have any video ideas let me know as well and uh, that was it so uh, peace <laughs>